right, so let's look at this uh, hydraulic lift. All right, it tells us a hydraulic lift is used to lift a 2,500 kilogram weight um, by putting a weight, and these are masses, of 25 kilograms on a piston that has a diameter of 10 centimeters. Determine the diameter of the piston on which the weight is to be placed. Okay. So how hydraulic lifts work is if you're pushing a force down on something that has a small area that is lifting something, a, a cylinder with a larger area, we know that if these are at the same height, and these look to be at the same height, okay, so if P1 and P2, um, P1 is equal to P2 if they're at the same height. If they weren't at the same height, it might be like P1 plus rho GH equals P2, you know, problems we've done. But they are equal to each other, and pressure is force per area. So here we could say F1 over area 1 equals F2 over area 2, and that's how uh, hydraulic pistons work. And you can push down with a small force and lift a larger force right here. All right, so we don't know this diameter 2, uh, but we know F1, F2, A1, A2. All right, so the force right here at F1 is 25 kilograms. That's not really the force. We probably could get away without doing this but as long, because if we're very, very consistent on the left-hand side and the right-hand side, if we're consistent with all of our terms. But let me go ahead and take that uh, 25 times 9.81 because that's the weight, right? The force pushing down is really the weight, and the weight is really 25 times 9.81 meters per second squared. All right, divided by the area, pi r squared or pi by 4 diameter squared, I'm going to um, change that to 0.1 meter, and don't forget to square it. All right, equals force 2, the 2,500 kilograms times 9.81. So you might have seen if you could, you know, factor that out of both sides. Uh, but divided by its area, pi by 4, and its diameter squared, which I don't know. All right, so then we could get the diameter would have to be one meter in order for it to lift this right here. Now, once it starts lifting, things start changing. We won't go into that, but once it starts lifting, then you th these aren't equal to each other. They're off by a rho GH. Uh, but a few things here that we should step back and look at. The pressure would be the weight pushing down right here. The pressure over here would be the weight pushing down over here. And if they're at the same height, they're equal to each other. The only thing I don't know is this area, this diameter of cylinder 2.